friends? Welcome to Storytime with Katie. And over here is Boomer. He's so excited. He might have been just a little afraid to be on the camera. <laughs> uh, let's do our beginning song. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. All right, Boomer, you want to sit? Listen to the story? Okay. All right, our story today is, oh, I see this blue dot. You know what this blue dot means? It means it's a new book in the library and not very many people have read it. So let's see what this book is. It's new. I, I, I hadn't heard of it until I read it. So now it's time for you to hear it. It's called A Trapezoid is Not a Dinosaur. And it says Suzanne Morris down here. But it doesn't say if she wrote the words, drew the pictures, or what. So let's find that title page and see if it tells us. A Trapezoid is Not a Dinosaur by Suzanne Morris. I'm going to guess, since it doesn't tell us, even on this page, that she did both. She wrote the words and drew the pictures. All right, it says, down here it says, Shapes in Space Audition. Shh. This is a trapezoid, and we'll learn a little more about him in our story, because I bet that's not a shape you've heard of before. Step up here to try out for the space show. One shape at a time, please. Make space for the superstar. Who are you, said Star? Trapezoid coming through. Isn't a trapezoid a dinosaur? No, I'm a shape with one pair of parallel sides. That means they go in the same direction. You're different. I'll make this show a blast. Back of the line, Dino. I'm the director here. Follow my lead. I'm a triangle. I have three sides. I'm a strong shape with a great sense of direction. I'm a strong shape too. I'll help direct. Trapezoid, put me down and get back in line. Look, we're making a bigger triangle together. A trapezoid is not a triangle. Next up, square. I'm square. I have four sides. I can make a box. I like to stack. I also have four sides, but I think outside the box. A square has four equal sides. A trapezoid is not a square. Square, you fit in. You have all the right angles. Slide over trapezoid. I get the point. Fair and square. Circle is next. I am circle. I am round. I can roll. I also like snacks. What is the snack he's holding? It's a donut that's a circle just like him. And he even has a little circle hole in the middle. I can go round in circles. Watch me spin, said trapezoid. But is trapezoid actually a circle? No. It's my turn now. A trapezoid is not a circle. Circle, you belong in space. I have a role for you. Great point, triangle. I'm ready to roll. And now for the star. I'm star. I should be the star of your show. I have five points. One, two, three, four, five. But he's actually talking about these that he writ has written on the chalkboard. It says a trapezoid is not a star. A two, a trapezoid is not a circle. Three, a trapezoid is not a square. Four, a trapezoid is not a triangle. Five, there are no dinos in space. 
a trapezoid is not a dinosaur. Star, you are bright. You'll shine in my show. Sorry, trapezoid. You just don't fit in. But I have some good points, too. I'll shape up. May I please have a part? I'll do anything. Anything? Okay, try on this costume. You'll be the first trapezoid in space. Really? Thank you. Oh, let's see what's in that box. It's green, has pink circles, and these yellow triangles. What would be green and have spikes on its tail? Let's find out. Let's see. Put him in a dinosaur costume. A trapezoid is not a dinosaur. He is not a happy dinosaur, said Square. He's spun out of control, said Circle. He's really bent out of shape, said Star. The show must go on. Circle, you're the moon in the show. A full moon. Star, you're a shooting star. I'm over the moon. Square, together we make the rocket. Go. Go where? Reach for the stars. Fly to the moon. You look more like a house. Knock, knock. Who's there? Trapezoid. Trapezoid who? Trapezoid, the rocket booster. May I help? Trapezoid, you are a supportive shape after all. We're in great shape for liftoff. Ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Now that Paige got, we had to turn the, turn the book to read those words. And we got star and, and our circle moon. And there's our rocket. Oh goodness. A trapezoid is not a dinosaur. There is space for all of us. I forgot my line. The end. Well, thank you for listening to that story. We had a new shape that you might not have heard of. And all those shapes that you're starting to learn in our book, those shapes had to figure out what, how they'd work and where they'd be. And that is exactly like a puzzle. Puzzles can be put together with shapes like our book, or they can be the traditional interlocking pieces. Puzzles are really important for early learning and writing skills. When moving those pieces around, it helps them build the muscles in their hands that we use for writing. It can also help with those problem solving skills, especially when those pieces won't go together the way that, that they want them to. So today for our activity, we're going to build a couple shapes using our puzzles. So our first one is a rectangle. And we can say a rectangle has four sides. A rectangle has four sides, just like this piece of paper, because two are long and two are short. A rectangle has four sides. And then we're also going to build with our puzzle a circle. And we can say a circle's like a ball, a circle's like a ball round and round it never stops a circle is like a ball so I'm gonna put have I have some puzzle pieces back here and we're gonna slowly pull them and we're gonna find out if it's gonna make a rectangle or if we're gonna make a circle with it let's look well that one's ready to go all right this one is a chocolate bar does it go round and round or does it have four sides with two sides long and two sides short? I think it would be part of our rectangle. And then 
we also have our light switch. Our light switch cover has our four sides and two are long and two are short. So it goes right here with our chocolate bar. Let's see. Ooh, I love these. I have a cookie. A cookie. Does it have lines or does it have curves that go round and round? That's right, it curves, so it's going to be our circle. All right, let's see what our next one is. It is a door. It's a door round? No, it has those four sides, so it is also a rectangle. Ooh, I had this for dinner last night. It's a pizza. This pizza is, you got it, it's round, so it's part of our circle. Ooh, I love getting these in the mail. It's an envelope. It has corners instead of being round, so it's probably our rectangle. And then we see these on the wall. They have numbers on them and it's, it's round, so it's a circle. And then we have, ooh, these cupboards. We have two long sides, two short sides, so it's our rectangle. All right, here we go, we have a button. So it finishes our circle puzzle. How does it go on there though? <gasps> like that. There we go. Oh, we finished our circle. Here we go. Here's our last one. It is some money. Now this money is our paper money and it has two definite long sides and two short sides. So that finishes our rectangle, which doesn't seem to be wanting to stay together, right? But we have, so our circle goes round and round and round, and we could probably just draw that forever. Where our rectangle, we have to draw two long sides and two short sides, but it doesn't matter which way it's going. As long as it has its two long sides and two short sides, it's always a rectangle. All right, thank you for playing that game with me. Let's grab Boomer, sing our song, and let's have a good day. All right, here we go. My hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. My feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. It's time to say goodbye.